Hello, Tintu. Um, I beg you, we are back again. Um, earlier on, you made mention that um, the grass cutters they can litter from one to twelve. I, I, I want to know what can increase my chances of getting the twelve, the maximum. Yes, like I said earlier on, that the maximum birth or number of cutlings any female grass cutter can litter is twelve, meaning naturally their womb has been designed to take that number of cutlings. Now, the least you can also get is one cutling. Now, there is a trick here. If you are getting a grass cutter from a background that litters more, a mother, a parent, mother and father that litters more, it is likely that if you have, uh, you have stocks from that family, you are also uh, able to produce such number. Especially when you feed them so well. So when you feed them very well, you'll be able to get your number of cutlings. For instance, my farm here, I've been able to get 11. I've not hit the 12 yet. I've been able to get 11. I've been able to get 10, 9, 7. So my animals, they litter more. Yes, so what, per my research, what I did, my result, what I got was that when you feed your animals so well, and they come from a hereditary background that litters more, you are likely to have a productive farm. So, selection of breed is important. So, uh, let me quick uh, question. Is it the male or the female that we are considering here? You know, when it comes to production, males alone do not reproduce and females alone do not reproduce. Both of them, the two of them, comes together to form a unit. That is how production starts. So, you are getting a hereditary background of a father that produces more and a mother that produces more, both of them. For instance, in my farm here, I know mothers that produce more and I know mothers that do not produce more. I know males that when I use, I'm able to get this result because it is something I've studied over the years. So I'm able to emerge these two together to help my farm to grow. What about your worst litter on this farm? My worst litter is one cutlass. One? After five months? Yes, the only litter one. And wow. I have it here and that baby is very big. It's very big? Yeah. This, this cutlass is only one month. One month? Any grass cutter farmer will tell you that it's big. This is only one month. Can we get another one month that littered plenty? Like, those let's ones, compare the two. Those ones have all been given up. Okay, let's look at this. These are two month grass cutters. This is a two month grass cutter. Oh, they Almost look the same. the same. So, from this, can I say that this one occupied the womb? Yes. So, mostly, when they give birth to one or two, mostly they are big. But sometimes too, because of the breed, like I talked about, a grass cutter may litter one, but the baby is just like my thumb. Okay. It just depends on the kind of breed you have. If they are bigger breeds and they litter only one, the babies are big. But when they are smaller animals, they litter one, the babies are just like my thumb. Okay. We know these animals came from the wild. You see those days that you have to go inside the bush and uh, hunt for them and get them. Sometimes you see at the roadside, they shoot them before you even go and back. Did they, did they genetically modify these ones to tame them so that domestication? No, grass cutters are not uh, genetically modified, no. The grass cutters we are keeping here comes from the world. Let's look at it this way. When you have two grass cutters, a male and female from the world, they are very, very aggressive. But when you are able to manage them, feed them, and then begin to breed them, they are first children, takes a little of the aggressiveness from the, from the parents. But with time, as they begin to age, they begin to get very tame and very calm. Mm -hmm. Let's look at this animal. I have this animal from the world. When the hunter brought it, the, the trap caught the leg, so the leg was, got amputated. Okay. 
when they brought it, it's still aggressive to do that. I'll manage it. See? The leg is amputated. Okay. They brought it to me, it was very small. Mm. Uh -huh, because the trap that caught it caught the leg. Okay. It, the leg got broken. But see, it, okay, it is down now. So this is. It won't run. No, I'll get it with the net. So this is where we employ the net catcher. Okay. So now you are here and you saw the animal just fall, fell to the floor. So. Since your, your logs long too much. Hey! How many years now? Yeah, you know, this is 20 years of dreadlocks. Charlie, I'm traveling to We sell to the woman. Under it will not return to the world. Well, yeah, there's no bush here. So if I enter the sack. So he himself arrest himself already. <laughs> he arrest himself already. <laughs> So this is where we employ the net. Net catcher. Ah. So, yeah, Charlie, you need net catcher. So assuming you don't have a net catcher on your farm and the animal falls to the floor, how do you do it? Especially when you are afraid, you don't have the experience to handle the grass cutter. Mm. So this one, can can it chop off your hand? Yes, that is how they defend themselves. Mm. Grass cutters have their claws and their teeth. Okay. So this one you are crossing it with which one? Yes. I'm not crossing it. There are two males. They were all brought from the world. That's why they are very aggressive. Two males. Yeah. Whoa. Because of space, so I mostly keep two males together. You get my hand. You see the way you hold the wire. <laughs> Have you as you experienced some before? No. Like biting and this stuff. No, I've never been beaten by a grass cutter before because I've been doing this for quite a long time. Like I said, I started mm. with my dad, so handling them is something I know how to do. Okay. Yeah, I mean, instead of me, I'm farming. Yeah, my hobby. Okay. See, be a gardener and hockey camp. Okay. 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 I'm working with him at the same way. Okay. So okay. I told him one day I'll pay him a visit. Okay. That's why I came here. But do you consume grass cutter? Yes. You, you it's a fine meat. It's a fine meat. Yes. Okay. It's fine. Okay. So you are saying where you are right now, I think it's something that you can do. Do you think it's something you can uh, do? You see, now Ghana here, everything is capital inten in, uh, intensive. Okay. That is it. Now I've been bored to make something, look at the price. Okay. You see, but if you start it earlier, then you are topping it up, it's also a different thing. Okay. But starting it afresh, even acquiring a land, it's not easy. Okay. okay. It's not easy. Alright. I know if you were to have a big land, I mean, the place would be spacious, and then when you enter it yourself, you enjoy it. <laughs> 